Good morning, Hollywood, and welcome to Gossip and Glamour. I'm Alexander. And I'm Isabella. Today we will cover hit songs, latest meltdowns, and style trends. But first, our top story. So, as we've all heard in the news, Sphinxa, the Latin songstress, has allegedly locked the millionaire heiress Joanna Thieves and all of her guests to her famous New Year's Eve party in her Beverly Hills mansion. I heard about this last week and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I know. I mean, we all knew Sphinx was a little off lately, but I never thought she would take it this far. Well, I mean, she just got out of her sixth rehab stink. It wasn't that unexpected. Yeah, but I really wanted her to get better. You know how big of a fan I am of Sp yeah. Sphinx. Although I do have to say her latest song, Riddle, was really bad. But what I think is the most outrageous about this whole scandal is the preposterous circumstances that she sent for people to get out. Yeah, in order to leave, you have to sing the song Riddle perfectly and do the choreography. You know, Bella, we actually have Eddie in studio now to talk about this situation. Well, how about we bring him in right after this commercial break? Cetaphil, every ash gone in a flash. Welcome back to Gossip and Glamour. I'm Isabella and this is Eddie Rex who has some shocking news to tell. Hey little mama. Oh hello Eddie, how have you been? I've missed you. I've missed you too. What would the world do without you? Everyone needs their daily dose of diva. Oh Eddie, you're so sweet. So, tell us about your proposition to save Sphinx's prisoners. I will be... Eddie, Eddie, you have to stay seated. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> As I was saying, I will be rescuing Joanna and the others in a singing and dancing competition even Beyonce would be jealous of. So if you're watching this, Sphinxa, I'm coming for you. You better watch it, because I'm coming. Wow, very intense. How have you prepared yourself for this great act? Uh, I've made myself, you know, a little comedy with terrible songs. Uh, I've actually made a few myself. Well... Well, folks, you heard it straight from Eddie Rex himself. He will be taking on this epic battle with the Latin songstress Sphinx Up. That's all we have for now. See you next week on Gossip and Glamour. To be happy. And welcome to Gossip and Glamour. I'm Alexander. And I'm Isabella. Today's top story is all about Eddie Rex. Because of the great increase of popularity on the Eddie vs. Sphinx of battle, we've decided to dedicate an entire segment to him alone. As we last reported, Eddie was headed to a singing and dancing competition to defeat Sphinx and free her captives. After freeing Joanna and the others, Eddie pop Eddie's popularity grew overwhelmingly, and he has climbed to the top of all the social networking charts. However, as news got around, Sphinxa, who was already struggling to keep her career alive, hit rock bottom and relapsed. Plus, as if things weren't bad enough for her already, she began losing most of her fans, was arrested, and her career crashed and burned. Oh my gosh, it's such a shame. I really want her to get back on her feet, but I guess some people need serious help. Yeah. To add even more excitement to this story, Eddie was seen leaving a hotel room with Joanna just the night after this whole ordeal went down. No way. I mean, come on, you guys. This is shocking news. Yeah. I'm almost actually really surprised. Eddie usually goes for the, up, for the younger girls, but Joanna is twice his age. Wow. I mean, it looks like Mr. Rex has turned over a new leaf. Anything is possible with him now. In other Eddie-related news, he and his old friend Terry have gotten into a war of words on Twitter. Terry, the blind photographer, is trying to warn Eddie about his fate. Fate of all things, like, come on. Terry reportedly had heard from a psychic, Delfina, that Eddie was going to sleep with his mother and murder his father. I can't believe this guy can actually tweet. I mean, he's blind. That's really impressive. I'm surprised the spelling's not all over the place. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think that this can be true. I mean, I've never been one of those types of people who believes in psychics, but... I likely would have been skeptical even if the news wasn't so outrageous. Eddie's parents, Paolo and Mariah, don't even live on the same continent as Eddie. He ran away to America years ago. Then again, the famous Delfina has never been wrong about her predictions. True, true, but as I said, Paolo is as alive as ever. Plus, if Eddie had slept with Mariah, we would have known by now. This, this is Hollywood after all. 
And celebrities' personal lives are never kept personal. You do have a point, Isabella. We want to hear from you. Just tweet us at Gossip and Glamour and hashtag Eddie's Probs. Next time, our story brings you to the award show where Joe and other celebrities were dazzling on the red carpet. See you next time. Stay fabulous. Good morning, Hollywood Glamazons. Welcome to Gossip and Glamour. I'm Isabella. And I'm Alexander. We open today with more exciting Eddie news. Reportedly, Joanna Thies and Eddie Rex were secretly married in Jamaica. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This follows a long stream of public sightings and numerous red carpet events. So it was clear that they were together. But no one expected this. I feel like it's kind of sudden. What do you think, Alex? I mean, I just can't believe they're married. Like, a month ago, we just saw them leaving the hotel together. Yeah. I mean, I never would have predicted this one. It's a very but, large, fast step. Yeah. Speaking of predictions, though, I hear the feud between Terry and Eddie has gotten a new twist. Yes, it sure does. We all remember the Terry on Twitter scandal. Well, Eddie has admitted to having heard Terry's outrageous story before, as well as his knowledge that Creona Rex, Eddie's aunt, is behind the infamous Twitter outbreak. Take a look at the press conference. First of all, congratulations on your recent marriage. Thank you. Mr. Rex, we know the scandal must be devastating. Have you ever heard of anything this crazy before? Um, to tell you the truth, I got my prom right a long time ago, and I received the same fate that I would uh, sleep with my mom and kill my father. At first, I was really scared, but, you know, to escape my fate, I left Paris and came to Hollywood to become an actor and a singer. Um, so, you know, now I'm oceans away from them. I can't kill Papa or Mama. Um, the person I'm really mad at um, is Terry, who I thought was my friend. But he betrayed me and sunk to a very low level. Your collaboration with Terry Sias is one of the best Hollywood has ever seen. Will you ever forgive him and collaborate again? <clears throat> Although I'm very mad at Terry, I think I may be able to forgive him someday. Who I will never be able to forgive is that wretched aunt of mine, Creona. Uh, it turns out that she was the one behind this whole entire mess. She was the one who told Terry uh, to talk to Delphina to tell him my fate. Uh, she was one of my best agents and closest friends, and now she's trying to knock me out of the spotlight and get all of the power. I'm Alexander. And I'm Isabella. Welcome to a very exciting episode of Gossip and Glamour. Today we have Joanne Thebes and Eddie Rex in studio. In their exclusive interview with Melissa, they talk about their recent marriage and how they are coping with the latest scandal. But first we bring you Eddie's latest accomplishments. Well, Isabella, his latest blockbuster, World War 22, has gotten him five Oscar nominations, including one for Best Actor. His recent charity work has also made him 2013's most influential person. Wow, very impressive. Right? Well, he is definitely the king of Hollywood. And now, to the exclusive interview with Joanna Thieves and Eddie Rex. I can't wait where, to see this. I know, right? Where Eddie Rex shares his thoughts on Delphine's prediction and his sadness about the recent death of his father. Our very own Melissa has the story. Well, welcome back to Gossip and Glamour. Mr. and Mrs. Rex, we are so glad to have you here. We are so happy to be here. All right, well, let's just jump right in. Eddie, we're all really sorry about the loss of your father. It was a real tragedy for all of us. You know, at first I was, I was really sad, and, but then I found some comfort in it because I'd escaped my fate. Well, not completely, right? I mean, he was your adopted father. Adopted? Adopted? No, 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 no. He was my real father. That was the whole reason why I left Paris was to get away from that and to escape my fate. But you killed someone, didn't you? 
Well, yeah, but everybody knows he was a psychotic lunatic. It was out of self-defense. Why are you even asking this? It has nothing to do with you. It's old. It's gone. I'm just trying to understand your past. Yep. That's all. Nope. No. Uh, no. Stop this nonsense right now. We don't need to know about Eddie's past. He is who he is right now, and his past doesn't matter. It nope. No. no. Eddie, where are you? Come on. Come on. Stop the camera. Ah! Hello, and welcome to another episode of Gossiping Glamour. I'm Alexander. And I'm Isabella. We start off today with the shocking ending to the Eddie Rex scandal. We all remember the graphic and emotional interview that we broadcasted over a week ago. Well, this story has seen more twists and turns than a Kardashian marriage. <laughs> For all jokes aside, I don't think any of us could have predicted an ending like this. Sources close to the family said that their fates have been proven true, and further research and maternity tests had been done to prove that, in fact, Joanna is Eddie's biological mother. I mean, who would have expected that one? Well, sources have said that the man that Eddie killed all those years ago in self-defense is, in fact, his father. Wow. What a terrible coincidence that Eddie, Eddie's biological father just happened to be in the same bar on the same night at the same time that Eddie got so drunk and angry. Just another tragic example of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. To make matters even worse, we just got word that Joanna, Eddie's biological mom, has killed herself out of grief and shock. And in the midst of all this tragedy, Eddie has posted a graphic Instagram picture detailing what looks to be like a confession or maybe just a look at what his life has become. The caption reads, I would have heard nothing, tasted nothing, smelled nothing, seen nothing, no thought, no feeling, nothing, nothing, so pain would never reach me anymore. In addition to all of this terrible news, it seems that Eddie has stepped down from his throne of King of, the, of Hollywood, exiling himself from this beloved city to the purgatory of a mental institute in Idaho. Hollywood has lost two of its biggest stars in the most tragic of ways. The two leave behind millions of fans and a legacy rumored to be worth almost $1.5 billion. That's it for today. Hopefully when you're here next time, it will be a little more upbeat. Signing Stay out. Fabulous.